All rise. Oh yay, oh yay, oh yay. District Court for the Southern District of Illinois is now in session and is called to order for the naturalization ceremony. All persons having business before this honorable court, draw near, give attention, and you shall be heard. God save these United States, the great state of Illinois, and this honorable court. The Honorable Laura K. Grandy presiding. All right, good morning. Good morning. Let's see what we are. I have my old program from the last one in my hand here. Uh, thank you, Kim, for opening court. She's my courtroom deputy. She's in my courtroom with me every day. And today we've drug her in on a Friday to, to do the same thing. Uh, uh, please have a seat, everybody. Um, My name is Laura Grandy, and I'm the Chief Judge of the Bankruptcy Court of the uh, Southern District of Illinois. My courtroom's right on down the hall here. And uh, I've been here for 14 years, almost. I will complete my 14 years in a couple weeks. And, uh, and then they're gonna put me out to pasture, but, but they're gonna let me graze around a little bit and hear cases from time to time, so, so that'll be pretty cool. Um, uh, I wanna welcome uh, U.S. Attorney, uh, Rachel Ogcro, whose name I mispronounce every time, uh, and uh, U.S. Marshal Davis, who's going to keep us safe here along with his staff today. Um, you know, in the past, we've had these ceremonies uh, at really cool places. Like, I, I get to go to high schools, and we, we create interactive civics programs with the high schools, and, and uh, then, then this is kind of like the graduation of the ceremony. We have, we have uh, the ceremony for you. We've done them on the square in Belleville. We've done them at really cool places. But unfortunately, Congress uh, couldn't figure out how to get the budget together for our country. So, so here we are, and <laughs> you're in our jury assembly room. But today, we're going to pretend it's my courtroom, um, and and we're gonna and it's going to be just as, as perfect and great as as always. Except we won't have music, and we won't have the uh, ROTC come and present the flags, which is always really cool too. But we're going to make it the best we can. And uh, and what I suggest that you all do when you leave here today as new citizens is. You write your congressman and you say, get it together, okay? We, we need funding. We need to operate our government like we should and, and quit trying to make sound bites and, and instead try to solve the problems of our country and, and, uh, and try to get along. Uh, you know, people have long forgotten that compromise is a victory. And when we can all work together, we can make our country really beautiful. And that's why we're so happy you're here today to join us, to create diversity among us, to, uh, to bring home, I'm not even talking about my speech, I wrote this thing, I'm, not, I'm, just going, off, I'm going off the rails here. Um, to, to come and bring everything that you have to us. You know, you're gonna take an oath today, and it's, it's an allegiance to, to this country, and, and, it's, and in, in that oath it says you know, that you're, you're not gonna abide by, by the rules of your old country. Um, but we don't want you to forget that country. We want you to live your life here as you would there. We want you to to uh, cook the food you cook, listen to the music you do. Oh, please, I came from a German family. If I had to eat German food my whole life, it would be so boring, okay? So I'm just putting that out there. We, you know, bring your, bring your good food, teach us how to dance the way you dance, teach us your music, teach us the things you love, the things you love to read, the things you love to do, because that's what makes our country the country everyone wants to come to, and we need you to do that. Um, you know, I, I, uh, I've done these ceremonies a lot, and I, I've, I've researched the things that you all had to go through to be citizens today. It is a lot. I mean, you had to, you had to study, uh, you know, different documents of our country. You had to study the Declaration of Independence. You had to study the Constitution. There were all sorts of things you had to learn. But for most of us, you know, it was just easy. And Kathy over there, my clerk, my assistant deputy clerk uh, of court, you know, she was born near here, along with Kim. Kim's from Clinton County, okay? Nobody ever leaves Clinton County. They're born there and they just stay there. It's like a thing. Well, they have stag beer, a lot of it, and I think that has a lot to do with it. But, but nobody leaves. And, and so they're always around their home. They're around everything that they grew up with and they love. You know, uh, I can still call friends I went to kindergarten with. And, you know, if I want my friend's Kathy, she's like a great artist. So whenever I need a good signing made for some event that I'm, I'm working on, I just call Kathy up, you know. But you guys don't have that. You don't have the friends you went to kindergarten with. You don't have... You don't have all of those lovely things. You don't have the neighbor around the corner you grew up with, that maybe that coffee shop that you love to go and just hang with your friends. And, and I think that is so brave. That is the bravest thing, to leave everything you love 
and come here. So my wish is that, that you could, and many of you, and we'll find out later, um, many of you have been here for a while, and, and many of you haven't. But whether you have or haven't been here for a while, my wish is that you could learn to love your community the way I do. I love my hometown. I talk about it all the time. I'm, I'm a nutbag about it. Um, I love going and doing the Oktoberfest in downtown Babel because that's my hometown. My whole family lives 10 minutes from each other. We're so annoying to each other because we're all here. That's what I want for you. I want you to develop a community around you that you love. There's nothing better than when I walk into a room, like just today, I walk into the room and I see somebody I know. My eyes connect and suddenly I'm feeling comfortable. I'm feeling good about where I am. That's what I wish for you. I wish that you get that level of comfort that when you go anywhere, you feel good about where you are. And the only way you can do that, and this is the challenge, is to get out there. And one of the documents you studied was the Declaration of Independence. And in that document it says, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creators with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's the line everybody always talks about. That's the one everybody remembers. But if you look at the bottom of that document, Declaration of Independence, right where our found, above where our founding fathers signed their names, that last sentence says, and in support of this document, we pledge our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. Our founding fathers were giving up everything to create this country and to keep it strong. And so when you ask yourself, well, you know, what is she talking about? How can I do that? It's really simple. Just volunteer in your community. Get to know your friends. Get to know your neighbors. Get to know, um, go to your kids' events at school. Uh, certainly get to know the, the parents that your kids are hanging around with, uh, your families are hanging around with. Uh, because when you do that, when you volunteer, you become integrated in your community, and suddenly you have people you know, and you feel a part and connected to what you are. And when you volunteer, you are, you are living up to that last paragraph of the Declaration of Independence. Uh, and you may think, well, how does she know so much about volunteering? Well, when I grew up, I knew this lady, and she was, like, always busy. And uh, on Sundays, she would go to church early, and she'd greet everybody. On Monday mornings, she'd go back to church and count all the money, and then she'd go work at this little volunteer at the shelter shop in the, saf in the afternoons where they would sort off donations, donated clothing, and stuff like that. On Tuesdays, she'd go deliver meals on wheels to people. On Wednesdays, she'd go back to church and she'd fold bulletins and she'd uh, go to choir practice and whatnot. On Thursdays, she would get up early in the morning, even though she was not a morning person. She would get up early in the morning and she would go read for the blind for our local radio station. On Friday, on Friday sometimes she'd give herself the day off. And you wonder, well, how does she know that lady so well? She's my mom. She's my mom. And my dad's, my dad's resume would look pretty much the same. And the thing about seeing my mom do that is it just became a part of who I was. I, I just learned from seeing that, that you need to, to provide service to your community. And, and it's not a chore. It's not a burden. It just becomes who you are. And when your children see that, when your neighbors see that, your friends see that, and, and most of all, they see the joy of volunteering in something. You know, when you, when you develop an activity or uh, you're, you're part of an event and you see that come to fruition and you see the success of that, that isn't something you can just write a check and mail it in on, huh? That's something you feel that you can't buy. It's an inner joy. And I'm going to encourage you all to do that. You'll get to know your community more. You'll benefit us more because you'll bring to those events different perspectives and things that we've never seen before. And it'll be, it'll be the best thing ever. So, so I welcome you. Um, I hope, I hope you, you find your dreams here. Um, and, and that you enjoy being a citizen as much as, as, as I do. And, and, oh, I've got to give you a heads up. Uh, as part of the, the, the show today here, the show, uh, we are going to uh, pass a microphone around. Can we pass a mic? Or do we have a mic? Yes, Chris, yes. We do, Christy, look over you, okay. Yeah, we're going to pass a mic to each one of you. So you can tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, look, she, I got an eye roll, I got an eye roll. You're going to tell us a little bit about yourself, where you came from, what you do, how long you've been here. I mean, it's, it's going to be amazing. The stories are going to be amazing because we're going to find out some people have been here a long time, some people haven't been here very long at all. We have a variety of ages. I think this group, uh, we have 40 uh, new citizens, 23 different countries, and, they, and you range in ages from 20 to 89. So we have a real diverse group, even among you, of uh, people coming here, and it's just really cool. So 
that's about all I have to say. I, I wish we had some music and all the fanfare once again, right to Congressman. Uh, let them know about about the situation. Um, and, and take advantage of um, the courthouse that we're in today. I want to brag about it a little bit more. It used to be an old post office uh, because uh, for some reason Congress thinks that you can take any old post office and turn it into a courthouse. And, uh, and we're really lucky in many ways. If you walk down the hall here, uh, you'll see this gorgeous old courthouse. Marble floors, you can't make them like this anymore. But as much as you're looking down and seeing how gorgeous that floor is, look up. The ceiling is a ceiling that they will never replicate. And I get to be in that. And then whistle. Whistle or sing, because your voice will never sound better. They are the best hallways ever. And, and many of you may wonder, well, why, why do you keep this courthouse here in East St. Louis? There's no parking. I mean, there's pot, potholes the size of, you know, Lake Carlisle. Uh, believe me, I've, I've been swimming in one lately. Uh, and uh, and, and it, it's just like, and it, and it leaks, and there's problems with it. Like, why do we keep it here? Well, a few years back, there was a historian that came here and talked to us about the significance of the courthouse, about the race riots in East St. Louis years ago. and. And uh, when you look around, I mean, we got a, the hospital closed down. Even the McDonald's up the street closed down. The industry has left the area. There's really nothing here. So why keep the courthouse here? And he said the most important thing to me. He said, I mean, he's speaking to the group, not to me. But um, he said that the thing about keeping the courthouse is it shows the people of this city and the area that while everything else has left it, justice has not abandoned it. And that was so, it, went to, it spoke to my heart when he said that. And I've always been proud to be here. So take time to enjoy this building today because it's really special, especially go into the atrium and look up. It's, it's just gorgeous. So with that, um, I'm just gonna ask you to volunteer, carry out the principles of that last paragraph of the Declaration of Independence. And I will quit talking and we'll get to the main point of this thing today, which is to get you in as new citizens. And I'm gonna um, ask him, um, uh, am I missing something here? All right, all right, good, good go. Okay, then I'm going to ask the United States Attorney, uh, Rochelle Crow to come up and uh, speak for a moment. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Rochelle Crow. I am your United States Attorney, and um, it's truly my honor to be here and share such a special day with you all. Uh, congratulations. My role today is to present you to the court. So without further ado, on behalf of the Department of Homeland Security and the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, I am pleased to present to the court 39 candidates from 22 countries for naturalization whose applications have been approved by the Attorney General of the United States of America. I respectfully request that the court administer the oath of allegiance to these candidates for naturalization. Your Honor. The yes, attorney has been shown to the satisfaction of the Department of Justice that these applicants have resided in the United States during the period required by the acts of Congress, and that during all of these periods they have been and still are persons of good moral character, attached to the principles of the Constitution of the United States, and disposed of the good order and happiness of the United States. On behalf of the Department of Justice, I am pleased to say that the showing has been made. Ladies and gentlemen. You are about to take the oath of allegiance to the United States. This oath has two parts. In the first part, you will absolutely and entirely renounce allegiance to any foreign state or potentate or sovereignty. In the second part of the oath, you will swear to support and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. These words are plain. The oath means what it says. I charge you, if any person among you has a different intention in taking the oath, you reveal it now, and to that end, the petition for naturalization filed by you be withdrawn or dismissed. Any takers? Good. All right. I'm going to administer the oath now. I'd like ask, ask you all to stand up. printed in your book you have memorized it but I'm gonna repeat parts of it and answer repeat after. Okay? Raise your right hand. I hereby declare on oath that I absolutely and entirely renounce 
and am sure. All allegiance and fidelity. All allegiance and fidelity. To any foreign prince. Potentate. Potentate. State or sovereign. State or sovereign. Of which or of whom or which. I have heretofore been a subject. I have heretofore been a subject. Or citizen. That I will support and defend. The Constitution and laws of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by law. That I will perform non-combatant service, non service in the armed forces of the United States, the of the United States when, required when required by law. That I will perform work of national importance, of national importance under civilian direction, civilian direction when, required when required by law. And that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation, Without any purpose of evasion. So help me God. So All right. It wasn't that hard. Okay. Welcome, new citizens of the United States. Pledge of Allegiance, and for those of you that are in attendance here, it's a really cool moment because you get to say the pledge along with our new citizens as they say it for the first time. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. United States of America. To the republic, and to the republic for which it stands, for which it stands, one nation, one nation under God, under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, with liberty, liberty, and justice, and justice for all. For all. all right, congratulations. exercises up and down and then uh, we'll get you all your families and the photographs. All right. Uh, okay. So that's how we met in 2014, actually. Uh, so uh, we've been married for uh, I think almost five years. Uh, <laughs> um, so uh, I live in Edwardsville and I work at WashU. Uh, so I think it's just opportunity that brought me here, and I'm very excited today um, to to be a citizen and contribute to this uh, great country. Thank you. I came to the United States uh, from Canada, Montreal, Quebec, Canada, in 1996, 28 years later I'm here. So I live in Illinois, in my brother in Illinois, and uh, I have a practice uh, in medicine in uh, my brother in Illinois as a surgeon. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Uh, my name is Joseph Kandoki. I came from Nigeria. First time of coming to the United States was 2007. I went back and I came back as a graduate student of SIUE. Um, I've been in, living all my life here in Illinois since then. Um, I have a, a lot of experience in different fields. I'm a graduate of accounting. Um, 
and so the master degree in the public administration. I um, also have a certificate and a couple of uh, certification in IT. I work currently in, in worldwide technology. I'm here with my beautiful wife and uh, three blessed children here. Um, my elder son is 18 and is in the Air Force National Guard. So I've been blessed to, you know, to come to this country. My journey was so long. I have a couple of my family here that I met in the United States who have adopted me as their own children. And uh, my journey is a long, I don't I'm not going to give a long story, but it's a long journey, but it's accumulated and it's celebrated today. And I'm happy to be a United States citizen. Thank you. Juliet and okay. I'm not going to say much. You already said most of the stuff. So uh, I'm a nursing student presently. Um, uh, I mean, this is a long awaited day, and um, I'm so happy I'm alive to witness this. You know, um, so that's all I have to say. Like I said, I yeah, said everything. So I'm from Nigeria. So and that's my husband. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Marina Dove. Um, I'm from Philippines. I came here to marry my husband, Robert Dad, um, last um, February 2012, so I've been here for a long time. I, um, I'm working right now in Toyota. I'm happy to be a Mercedes citizen. I've been waiting for this long time. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I am Tarun Singh Kushwa. I come from the country of India. Uh, I came to Houston uh, back in 2013 for uh, pursuing my master's in business intelligence and data analytics. Uh, moved to St. Louis for a job at SP Purina. Uh, currently working at Bayer in, in the IT software development field. Met my wife back in 2019. Uh, and then we've been married for about four years now. We have a beautiful two-year-old uh, son and a uh, 17-year-old uh, stepdaughter. So pretty happy to be here. Thank you very much. Good morning. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Carola. I'm from Ecuador. Um, I came here in 2018. Uh, I work in... <coughs> YMCA. I'm a teacher in Early Childhood Development Center, and I'm happy to be a uni United Citizen. So, thank you. Good morning, everybody. I am Ritu. Um, I came to the U.S. Uh, in 2002 to study civil engineering. It's been a long time. I have spent more time in the U.S. than um, when I came to the U.S. In my country, I spent less time. So uh, I work as a civil engineer, um, and um, I am married. I have two kids. My husband is also getting naturalized today. Um, I'm very happy to be a citizen of the United States. Thank you. My name is Silke, I'm from Germany, and um, I met my husband 34 years ago in Germany. He was in the U.S. Army, so we've been here since six years, and yeah, I'm happy to be here. Hello, my name is Juan Hernandez. I work at a waterproofing company. I worked there for 14 years. I have lived in the United States since I was 12 years old. Um, Thanks to the United States for this chance. Uh, it has been a great country to me. I now can call it my home country. And thanks to my family for all the support. And thanks to God for all, all the all. My name is Nicole Dixon, and I'm from Toronto, Canada. I came here in 2012. I went to cosmetology school, and I've been working in that field for I guess about 10 years, and last year I started my own business. So I'm very happy to be here and happy to be a United States citizen. Good morning, my name is Peñal Ellis. I'm from Haiti. Uh, I've been here since 2011, and I worked in Toyota for a long time with 
I'm I have my wife five years ago, and then I have three kids. I'm very blessed to be a young citizen. Thank you. Ten years ago, uh, I came here with my husband from Sri Lanka. I'm so happy today. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Delia Moore. I'm from the Philippines. Uh, I'm here since 2006. I'm married to my husband. We have three children, and I'm working uh, in a nursing home. Thank you. I'm so happy and thankful to be an American citizen. Uh, good morning. My name is Ian Murray. I am from uh, London, Canada, with a brief stop in Los Angeles. Um, I've been in the U.S. since 2017. Um, came to be with my wife, who has supported me through this process, uh, who has also been through this process. So they were a big inspiration for me, carrying on and taking it. Um, I've been fortunate to be able to complete a law degree here. Just took the bar exam this week, and then came straight to this. So. Hopefully this swearing-in will be followed by another swearing-in. Very happy to be here. Um, and I'm proud to be a U.S. citizen. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mohamed. I'm from Senegal. Well, originally from Senegal. Happy to be here. I'm an executive chef. I've been here since 1992. So, so I'm very, very happy to be a U.S. citizen. Very excited. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Julia Giuliano. I am from Colombia. I came here in 2015 and I am happy to Hello, my name is Ganesham Patel. I came from India and I am very happy to be with my citizenship. Uh, good morning, uh, my name is Lee. Um, I am a physical therapist. Um, I arrived here in the uh, Philippines uh, back 2015 and um, then I went back to Philippines 2016 to marry my wife and she's with, and she's with me here right now and uh, we are blessed with uh, two children and uh, I'm very happy today to be, um, to be an American citizen. Hello everyone. My name is Marlene. I am here since 2012. I'm from Mexico and I live in Troy, Illinois. Uh, my name is Fidel Campbell. I'm from the Bahamas. Um, I'm here because my mom put in a lot of work to give me a better way of life. I'm very grateful. I appreciate it. Um, I'm here with my little sisters and my daughter. I think she's throwing a tantrum right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy and blessed to be here. Good morning, everyone. My name is Muhammad Jahangir, and I'm from Pakistan. I came here in 2018 with my family, and uh, my wife is sitting over there, and she's also waiting for an odd ceremony. Still, she did not get the date, and I'm glad that I got this interview today. Thank you. My name is Raj Patel, I'm from India. I came here in 2018. Thank you. My name is Julia Patel. I'm from India, and I have visited here in 2018. Thank you. Hi, I'm Irene Ivo. I'm from Costa Rica. Um, I came here um, a long time ago uh, for vacation, and uh, God has different plans in my life and that's when I met my husband over there and uh, 42 days later we got married now we got two beautiful uh, twin daughters and my, some of my uh, kids are here and I just uh, be blessed to be a citizen in God bless America hello everyone my name is Yu Ping Li I'm from uh, China I come here uh, 2011, my husband is a citizen. We have, uh, I have two children, my girl, uh, my daughter, my son, citizen. Right now, I'm citizen. I'm very happy. Thank you, everyone.
Hi everyone, good morning. I'm Karam. I'm from Syria. I came here in 2013. I'm a medical graduate. Uh, three months ago, we celebrated uh, the birth of our first son. And um, hopefully, in two weeks from now, um, I'm going to celebrate uh, getting accepted in a residency program. Um, I'm here with my family. And congratulations, everyone. Good morning, everyone. My name is Hugh. I come here. Uh, I, I come to Vietnam. I, I live here a year. I'm very happy to be American citizenship. Thank you. My name is Sue, I'm from Turkey, and I came here to school, and after I graduated, I met with my husband over there, and we have a 15-month-old girl now. Thank you for making me a citizen. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Anita Kassar and I come from Mexico and I'd be happy to be here. Good morning. My name is Radka Steingrube and I am from Czech Republic where I met my future husband which brought me here. We have all together six kids. Three of them, three boys are in the United States Army and one of them just turned 18. So I'm very happy that we can go both of us first time to vote this year. Thank you for having me. Hello, my name is Fabiola. I, um, I'm from Mexico. I'm so happy to have my bonus parents right here with me and my, and my amazing fiance. Hi, good morning everyone. Uh, my name is AJ Karma. I'm originally from India. I came to the US in 2002 to pursue my graduate studies. Then I did my master's, PhD. Then my wife is also here today. She's also getting naturalized. Uh, we have uh, two children, boy and a girl, 16 and 10, going here in Illinois. I stayed in Utah, moved to Vegas, then moved here working as a professor at SIU Carbondale. I'm really happy to be here and getting the U.S. citizenship. Thanks. Good morning. I'm Prachi Parashar. Uh, I came from India uh, to pursue my graduate studies, PhD in physics, and and did postdocs. Went out for a couple of years to pursue another postdoc. Came back. I married my husband here in Carbondale, and uh, I'm teaching at the college. Hmm. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Sandos Zaid. I came from Palestine. I meet my husband over there and um, I have to say that thank you, Hassan, for everything. Thank you so much. Good morning everyone, I am Georgia Karabin. I'm proud from Philippines and now I'm so thankful to be part of this journey and I'm so proud to be a United States citizen and I have my husband right there um, followed him he moved here 2015 and because of God's faith I followed him 2016 and built up our own family with two lovely kids at the back one daughter and a son and honestly um, having a third baby soon. Yes. Uh, thank you so much and congratulations everyone. Hi, good morning. Um, my name is Mariam Amr. I'm from Alexandria, Egypt. I came here with my dad. Um, in 2016, I came with my family because my parents worked really hard to get us here and congratulations everyone. Hi everyone, you know, my name is Johaira Downey, I'm Dominican Republic, and thank you for the opportunity that I stay. Thank you. Good morning everybody, I'm sorry. I'm a little nervous, but I know everybody's tired. I want to make my story real short, but it's very long. 
<laughs> First of all, I want to say thank you to my pretty wife here, and my princess, my daughter, <clears throat> and the two big ones, sorry. I come to U.S. back in 87. I come to a family of 50 kids. Uh, my mom, she wants to me come to U.S. I was so little. And uh, I told mom, give me the opportunity to go to U.S. just to make more than enough to buy my own car. I was very little. Like, you know who I am, you know. All my life here, grew up uh, pretty children. I got a 15 year old son, and I got an 18 year old, 21 year old daughter, 23 year old uh, son, his name is Sergio. And uh, I started, and uh, when I come to US, I come to California, Moved to Atlanta, Georgia. I was working this at a, a restaurant, uh, in a restaurant, and uh, I, I want to make it short. I don't want to go too far, but it's a long story. I had to learn the restaurant business, working a restaurant, working a restaurant business to be a, a chef, to be a manager. So after now, right now, I got ten restaurants, and uh, my family support me very much. And uh, uh, the community, I'm very proud of my community. I live in Harrington, Illinois, close to Carbondale. Yeah. In Carbondale, I'm the owner of Sergio's restaurant. I got several runs. <laughs> and I just opened two more restaurants, one in local Kentucky, and I'm very close to open another one in Silmore, uh, Indiana. And uh, my brothers, they got more restaurants. So the whole family and my, and my family is in business. I want to share this with everybody. Just be positive, hang in there, and this is the best country to grow up. And uh, there's a lot of things I want to say that I can now, but I love to share more and more. But this country is my country. I feel like that because I was so little when I come here. My kids grew up in Harvard, Illinois. They go to Catholic school. I can be a private Catholic. That's the way I was raised in my hometown with my mom. We got to Catholic uh, school. And uh, they grew up. My daughter, she's a nurse. She tried to be a doctor. My son, he's ready at the SIU, Sergio Junior, to be an uh, engineer in computers. So the whole family do very good. I got one for kids and a uh, pretty wife. Take care of me all the time. She's very short, but I don't want to see her neck. Anyway, I wish you let me talk. That's the one story I got. I want to share with you guys. God bless America. Thank you very much, everybody, for having me to be a citizen. And congratulations to everybody. I'm sorry. Say there's a uh, 39 people here. I'm the 31. I'm the, I'm 40. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, we're just about done, but we couldn't couldn't go without introducing some important people and uh, people that make this uh, event happen and people who are important to the process of this event. Uh, beginning with somebody I've already introduced, the United States Attorney, Michelle Ogpro. Uh, she's a great part of the district and I'm, I'm happy to work with her all these years. Uh, uh, Marshall Davis, uh, all she'll say for every time I come in the building. Uh, I don't know if Dean, my clerk, court is not here yet. We have Kathy, my Chief Deputy Clerk, court, Kathy. And then uh, we have uh, Kim Bill Hartz, uh, Jackson County, look around for Jackson. Uh, we have, uh, let's see, Christy Runsing, where are you? You're back there. Well, Christy made this whole thing happen. Uh, Eric, uh, Ricky uh, Schuster? Eric. Oh, Eric? Erica. Erica. <laughs> it's odd looking here. It is. Ricky, Erica. Okay. 
Uh, she's our court reporter. Uh, she took down everything today, and she's going to make me sound even better on paper. Uh, and then, uh, Alexander Andrews, uh, the U.S. District Court. And, uh, and then Rich Donner uh, of Mudge uh, Legal, who makes a video of this, which, uh, how did they get that? Do you know? YouTube. YouTube. You'll get it on YouTube. Okay. It's on the back of the program. Oh, oh, okay. The link to it is on the back of the program, so, you know, can't sleep one night. <laughs> Pull it out. <laughs> Put you right out. Okay. Uh, with that being said, uh, Kim, would you please come up here and close court for us? And thank you all. I wish you the best. Thank you. All rise. District Court for the Southern District of Illinois is now closed. And I apologize for the names if I messed them up. I'm trying. Um, John. And don't you want to? Yes. Yeah. Actually, I think it would be awesome. Great. And you're welcome to take pictures. If you have friends and family, come on up and take some pictures. Jack Papazian. <laughs> Joseph Anoki. <laughs> Juliet. Would you two like to do one together as well? Oh, and I should say, and once you do get your certificate, you are welcome to leave. Marlon Todd. Tarun Kushwa. <laughs> Carola Rivera Free. Ritu, Ritu Gupta. <laughs> Silky Bowers. Juan Hernandez. <laughs> Nicole Dixon.
Peniel Elise. Wadraj Nadika Darshani Mawena. <laughs> Delia Montemore. Diane James Marais. <coughs> Mohammed Kibi. Carolina Giuliano. <coughs> Gun Shyambai Patel. Lee Kuerbin. <coughs> San Juana Gonzalez Munoz. Fidel Campbell. <laughs> Mohammed Jehangir. Raj Patel. Gia Patel. Okay. Irene Hebel. <laughs> Yuping Lee. <laughs> Karam Dalla. <coughs> Hi. 
Tai Tai Tan Win. Anita Hernandez de Alcazar. Malik Duz Kantar. Radmilla Steingruby. Fabiola Hatfield. AJ Calra. Prachi Parashar. Santos Zaid. Georgia Caribbean. Miriam Amur. <laughs> Yohara Downing. Sergio Rodriguez. Sorry. Yeah, we need to get a 